This is lesson two, expressing numbers with the Soravan. Quickly to review, the red represents the units or the ones, the yellow column represents the tens, and the blue represents the one, the hundreds. Each of the red beads on the, lo the lower red bead count as one, the upper red bead counts as five, each of the lower yellow beads counts as 10. The upper yellow bead counts as 50. Each of the lower blue beads counts as 100. And the upper blue bead counts as 500. When none of the beads touch the answer line, we are at zero. So let's first, how do we do the number one? Do you know the one to do the number one, we only use our two fingers, the thumb and the pointer finger. When adding, we use our thumb to push numbers up. When subtracting, we use our pointer finger to pull the beads away from the answer line. For the upper beads, we only use our pointer finger. So to express the number one, we take our thumb, move one bead to the answer line. This is the number one. Then we take our pointer finger, bring us back to zero. How about two? To show the number two, we take our thumb, move up two red beads to the answer line. That's the number two. Go ahead and do the number four. The number four, we take our thumb, move up four beads to the answer line. That is the number four. How about the number five? To express the number five with our abacus, we only have four beads, lower beads. Remember, the upper red bead counts as five. So we move that down to the answer line. We don't move any of our lower beads up. This shows us the number five. How would we express the number eight? First, we move our five down to the answer line. With our thumb, we move up three. This is the number eight. Let's now get back to zero. We can do that in one motion, taking both fingers, our pointer finger and our thumb, and bringing both together at once. In the same way, we can part them like that. about the number nine? Go ahead. Again, taking both our fingers, we bring the five down and the four lower beads up. This expresses the number nine. Going back to zero. Let's now think about the tens column. How would we express, if we were a merchant and um, in the market and someone came to us and gave us ten dollars? How would we express this with our abacus? We take our thumb, move up one lower yellow bead. There's zero in the units or ones, so we don't do anything with the red column. This shows us the number 10. How would we express the number 30? Take our thumb, move up three yellow beads. Zero on the units, this is the number 30. Go ahead and express the number 70. We have seven tens, so we take one bead, the upper yellow bead, down to the answer line with two lower beads together at once. We have zero in our units. This shows us the number 70. How about the number 41? With the abacus, we always move left to right. So we start in our tens. We take our thumb and move up four yellow beads to the answer line. This shows us the number 40. But we do have one, one, 
move up one red bead. This is 41. Go ahead and do the number 25. Starting with the 2 in the tens, we go to our yellow column, move up 2, then we go to our 5 and our 1s, move down the upper red bead. This shows us the number 25. How about the number 58? Go to our tens, and we move down the upper yellow bead for 50. We have eight ones. Move the top red bead and three lower beads to the answer line. This is the number 58. Go ahead and do the number 96. Start in our tens, move the five from the top, the four yellow beads from the bottom, go to the red column, move the five from the top, and one red bead from the bottom. This is the number 96. Let's now move to the blue column, the hundreds column. How would we express the number 400? Start in the hundreds column, we move up four blue beads, zero in the tens column, zero in the red column. This is the number 400. How about the number 123? With our thumb, we move up one blue bead from the lower beads, two of the yellow lower beads, three of the red lower beads. This expresses the number 123. Go ahead and do the number 364. With our thumb, move up three of the lower blue beads Move the yellow upper bead and one lower yellow bead together to the answer line, and four red beads to the answer line. This expresses the number 364. And the last number, do the number 795. Starting left to right, we go to our blue column. We have seven one hundreds. That is seven hundred. We have nine tens, seven hundred ninety. We have five ones. This is the number seven hundred ninety five. This is expressing numbers with the sorbet.